Hey, I want to get this video out it, about a conversation that I had earlier today with a client who had reached out to me last night and said, hey, I'm, I'm thinking about refinancing. So reached out to him this morning, bought his house about six or eight months ago. And I said, gee, wh why are you thinking about it? Did something happen? Did you take on more debt? Um, you know, let's let's talk this through. So he mentioned that he's getting a lot of letters in the mail and he does remember that, you know, I told him that if it makes sense to refinance that I'd reach out to him, but has had no changes in his life, has not taken on any additional debts. And so I went through this with him and I'm going to go through this uh, with you folks that that watch my videos. And if you think that this will impact someone or, or help them out, please forward it. Um, you know, I absolutely love what I do. The And I've been really blessed that most of the parts that I don't like, I've been able to delegate off. Uh, but what I can't delegate off is how other people in the industry uh, will play or, or play the game of, of doing business. And I have I know I've posted it here and there, the whole date the rate, marry the house thing, and you can you can refinance when, when rates come down. But I want to be clear, um, if for whatever reason, you feel, regardless of what your lender tells you, that that mortgage payment's going to be too much, do not do it. Don't buy the house. Wait. I'll tell you this this call today, it's just it's it's been sitting with me. and I'm like, God, did I allude allude to something that made him believe that, you know, within six months of having his house uh, that he'd be able to refinance. Now, granted, if rates drop, believe me, we would have already been uh, already been stalking him. Uh, the other thing that I see uh, lenders doing is the, oh, yeah, we'll be able to refinance you and we'll do it for no cost. Let me tell you something. No lender is going to do something for nothing. We're not a nonprofit. No lender. Um, you know, maybe maybe the lender you work at is extremely philanthropic, but they are in business to make money. So that is built in there. That's built into uh, the pricing that you get, the interest rate that you get whenever the time comes for you to refinance. So I did explain to him. There's really only four reasons that you should refinance. One, the rate's down. You're going to save money. Two, you have more equity. You can extract it by doing a cash out refinance. Three, you want to cut down your term. You start at a 30, you want to go down to a 15 or a 20. Four, you're doing one out of you're doing two out of two out of three. If it's five, then it's only benefiting your loan officer. So, you know, I just had a conversation with him of you know, just kind of some basics. And I said to him, hey, I, I know you're married. Uh, does your wife work? I, I know we didn't put your wife on. Right now, the wife's going to school. And I said, hey, is there any way that your wife could get a part-time job uh, or do the family obligations and school obligations make it too hard? He said that made it too hard. So I said, okay, I don't know much about your field, but are you paid enough? When's the last time you got a raise? Ask for a raise. What's the worst that happens? They tell you no. Uh, or maybe see what's out there in the market. Usually it's best to, to look for a job when you have a job. Um, you might just have to buckle down right now. Wife's going to school to become a nurse. Um, and I did explain to him, hey, the whole mortgage industry is down. So a lot of lenders are using the spaghetti method. And they're just throwing uh, stuff against the wall and seeing if it sticks. So in checking my mail today, I've got a solicitation uh, to uh, refinance. We have a rate in the twos. There is no way that we would do it um, unless we were selling the house or we had something catastrophic happened where we needed to uh, cash out quickly and, and couldn't take a home equity line or, or something like that. So you're going to get solicitations if you have a mortgage, whether it be in your email or in your uh, or in your mailbox. So this one just really struck me and I wanted to get this video out there about reasons to refinance the whole date the rate, marry the house thing. Make sure that you're making the right decision. And no lender will do nothing for nothing. Uh, there's going to be some profit built in there. So if the lender tells you, hey, we're going to waive all our fees when you refinance, they're just going to build it into the rate. Um, you know, there might be some loss leaders that, that companies will do, uh, but many lenders, you know, we're doing thousands, uh, hundreds of thousands of transactions uh, monthly as uh, as a company. We wouldn't, we wouldn't be able to be around if, if we were doing stuff like that. So if you have a mortgage, uh, if you're feeling the pain of the payment, hey, I'm happy to have a quick conversation with you. Uh, and maybe with the brainstorming like I did with this client, 
Um, you know, he's got some ideas on stuff that uh, that he may be able to do, or maybe you're the reverse and you're the reverse of, hey, you're sitting on 30, 40 or $50,000 uh, in debt. Well, that may make sense uh, to refinance because of the cost of interest on personal loans, as well as on credit cards. Uh, and if you're working with a lender and you're looking to buy a house and they're giving you the don't worry about it, you'll be able to refinance. That is a lender that you want to run from um, because we cannot predict when they're going to go down. We know that rates will go down. Uh, it's, you know, initially it was uh, presented to us from people that I follow and that I really respect and that know the financials way better than me, that we would, would see uh, some uh, some relief in the spring or early part of the early part of the summer, but there are so many things uh, that can impact the mortgage market and mortgage backed securities. And as a result of that, we have not seen what we anticipated. So now, you know, we're talking, uh, and those people that I follow are talking about 2024, 2024, 2025. Uh, looks like it's uh, going to be better as far as interest rates. Um, so I hope this rambly video has helped you. If it's something you like, leave me a thumbs up. If you don't like it, a thumbs down is fine. And as always, thanks for watching and for your feedback.